She gets so much from her mother. Food, a comfortable place to sleep, and of course, a love that's unsurpassed. But the mother who would do anything for her, the mother who has given her life, has also infected her with the HIV virus. Death that can strike before her second birthday. At any given time, the number of pregnant women in Kenya is close to 1.5 million. Without intervention, the rate of mother-to-child transmission is estimated to be as high as 35% to 40%. This means that more than 120,000 infants are exposed to the HIV virus every year. About the age of six weeks, mothers take infants to health clinics for their first immunization shots, and at that time, they're also tested for the HIV virus. If found to be infected, an infant should be placed on antiretroviral treatment at once. An HIV-positive infant who doesn't receive treatment has less than a 50% chance of surviving to the age of two. An adult can last a year, two years, five years, ten years without medication. But an infant will not. The immune system is not as developed as an adult, so they can't really fight this disease. That's why we want to know as quickly as possible whether the child is infected or not, and start them on medication immediately. Ni mleto kupimwa sababu mi mwenyewe niko HIV. Sasa nitaka kujua mtotangu kama ako HIV ama apana. Na kama hana, niwone vile naeza kumolinda, haipukani na virusi. Blood samples are collected at more than 1,500 health centers. They're sent in the form of dried blood spot test cards to labs in Nairobi, Kisumu, Kericho and Busia. For many reasons, results can take weeks to get to the centers. The diagnosis is delivered by courier and 70% of rural areas don't receive them at all. This can mean the difference between life and death. To address this critical delay, Hewlett Packard has partnered with the Clinton Health Access Initiative to create the Early Infants Diagnosis Program. For clinics using the HP Chai system, the process of turning around the HIV test results to health workers is down to 21 days from many weeks and months, well under the important threshold of roughly a month between the baby's six-week and ten-week appointments when mothers must come back for their infant's second immunization. This solution involves setting up four data centers at the existing national testing labs and one at the headquarters for the Ministry of Health. Data previously collected through a paper and courier-based system will be replaced by an electronic process enabled by software developed by Kenya's Strathmore University. These data centers will dramatically accelerate the transfer of results from the lab to the health center and subsequently to the mother. Here's how the solution works. A blood sample is collected from the infant, ideally when they come to the clinic for their six-week vaccination appointment. Mother and child are told to come back in a month's time, at which point they are coming for other services, i.e. the 10 weeks immunization visit. The lab receives batched samples and immediately enters them into the processing queue in the system. At this stage, health workers can track the status of the sample online via SMS, email and web. When processing is complete, the system automatically uploads the test results to the data center, at which time the health workers at local clinics can access the results in several ways. Via SMS to their phones, by email, by having the results printed on SMS stroke GSM printers at the clinic or by downloading directly from the web. Once the results are uploaded, they are available to health workers online and via SMS stroke GSM enabled printers in one to two days. These one to two days are factored into the 21 day delivery timeline. An infant diagnosed with the HIV virus will begin antiretroviral treatment immediately. Health is not just about HIV, there's malaria, there's TB and so on. 
if we can demonstrate using this approach that we can manage our health data and have real-time data that can help us make decisions for HIV, then other people in other programs like TB can learn from us. For HIV-positive children across Africa, the first step to a long and healthy life begins here. HIV-AIDS is still a significant threat to children in Kenya and many developing countries, but it no longer has to be a threat that goes undetected and untreated until it is too late. Enabled by the CHAI HP solution and empowered with a commitment to tackle this threat, we can offer HIV-positive infants and children across Africa new hope for life.